Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we've got a pretty interesting video. There are some brand new figures that just released, the Barbie set, as well as Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Sun and Moon, which is perfect for the brand new Ruin DLC that just released. So I'm hoping to find at least one of those today, and I know that they don't really go well together, but that's what's out right now. And because there is a couple different things that I am on the hunt for, we're not gonna be staying around here. Let's go to Toronto to see what we can find. And now if you guys are unaware of which stores are here, they actually have a Hot Topic FYE GameStop Conspiracy Comics, and I'm trying to think. That might be everything, I don't know. We're just gonna be walking around checking out every single one of them and see how we do. Okay, so our first store is actually gonna be FYE, and in the window here, I'm seeing the vinyl for Barbie, so it could be promising. Alrighty, so let's see here. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing anything Barbie. Oh, but they did get Wicked with Slingshot, and this is one that I have been on the hunt for. And it seems like they actually have two of them here, so I'll get to pick a good box. Actually, both of them look pretty decent. And now I guess the closest thing to like a Barbie Barbie pop because I am not seeing any here is like these boxes are kind of pink but it doesn't count oh but check this out guys they also got another one of the SDCC ones it is Jimi Hendrix but the thing is I do already have a couple Jimi Hendrix in the collection and if I were to go for one I'd probably do the black light version so I'll leave this for a bigger fan but it is still really cool to see oh and I didn't even notice over here guys it looks like they got an entire case of Hannah Montana pops which I did pick up a little while ago so I don't need to get it today but maybe if they had the other ones because there was a few others that were releasing like high school musicals as well as that's so Raven and Lizzie McGuire but um, uh, doesn't seem like they have it here. Okay, so I was pretty lucky to get Wicked over at FYE, especially because they only had two left. Now, let's go into GameStop. All right, so we've made it inside, and I'm looking at the figures, and it seems like there are some new ones from last time we were here, which was only about a week ago, if you guys haven't checked out that video. But we do have the brand new MTV Moon person, which I need for the collection, as well as Nezco from Demon Slayer. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be getting her, just because I haven't seen Demon Slayer, but I do think it's really cool that they are already showing up here in Canada. And then doing a little bit more digging. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, over here in the comic covers, check this out. They've got the brand new Star Trek one with Spock, which is a figure that I have never seen before. And then there was one that I was looking at and I wanted to show you guys. Where did it go? Oh, here it is up here, guys. Casey from Yellowstone. I, for a second, thought it was the Western Ken. Got excited there. I probably should have noticed it was yellow, not a pink box. All right, so nothing crazy over in GameStop. And now we're going to be going just across the way over to Conspiracy Comics because you never know. They could have them. And now, if you guys have never been inside the store before, haven't seen me come to the store, you guys can check this out. It is a massive wall of pops that just keeps on going. And I bumped into the Five Nights at Freddy's characters over here. We've got most of the balloon ones as well as tie-dye. And if you guys want to check the prices on these, like this is the pop here, they go for about 20 bucks, which honestly isn't that bad for a regular figure. The only thing is because they are in a mall, they do become a little bit more expensive on the exclusives, which I totally get because it's a kind of like a finder's fee, if you guys know what I mean. Let me find one here and see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Oh, here it is, everybody, their exclusive one. If you guys want to see what I'm talking about, like the Izuku Midoriya. We're not over at FYE, so it's probably going to be a little bit pricier. Yeah, see, 60 bucks. That's what I'm talking about about. And so for me, if I'm looking for a specific exclusive, it is nice here to come just to check to see if they have it, even though they are a little bit more of a premium, but I honestly don't mind too, too much. Oh, and then when it comes to the figures that I was on the hunt for, I saw Red Hood as well as Hawk Girl down here, both pink characters. I thought I found a Barbie one out of the corner of my eye, but it looks like they don't have any today. But here's the thing, you always have to check because you never know. Okay, everybody, so we made it to the back, and of course we are looking for that Barbie as well as Sun and Moon figure, and so far I'm not seeing either of those. The reason I thought I would check here is because I saw a bunch of Hot Topics in the area we're getting them in but I wasn't able to check this because I don't believe this location has an Instagram or at least I didn't see it and so doing some digging here I am not seeing any of them some of those Yellowstone ones with the cowboy hats but not that Western Ken which is definitely too bad but I know that they do have a smaller section at the front with newer figures maybe it's there okay so I found the section here and it looks like they do have some newer stuff like Ned B as well as Mirage Talia Al Ghul some of the brand new Nightmare Before Christmas Christmas ones but yeah guys I am not seeing that Sun and Moon figure which is definitely Definitely too bad, even though they do have some good stuff. All right, so we're out of the Eaton Center, and I did end up getting a couple things, as you guys probably saw, as well as over at Hot Topic. I picked up two sodas, which I'll show you when we get back to the office. But for now, let's go over to the GameStop just outside, which I found it is actually their flagship store, which I think is really cool. Also, this one is like double the size of the one in the mall. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so I made it to the section. Now, here's the thing, guys. They could, in theory, have the Barbie ones here. Do I see them? No, but we could still do some more digging for them. And it looks like over on this side, they've got some Pokemon. We've got a bunch of superheroes, actually more Pokemon in the middle. And then we also have Jujutsu Kaisen and there was a new one that I wanted to show you guys that kind of stood out to me. Ah, it was these ones over here, guys. The brand new Spider-Man Build-A-Scene ones, which I already did pick up but it's still cool to see more of them. Oh, and then behind me over here, guys, check this out. They have some of their bigger figures as well as the advent calendars. Then up at the top here, we have some of the SDCC stuff, which I've already grabbed, which is nice. I don't need to bring it home today. But then over here, check this out, guys. The Jujutsu Kaisen Glow in the Dark 4-pack. It's funny that my brother actually just started watching it. Maybe because of the new Fortnite update. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's really cool to see this one and does 
does he want it? I don't know, I'd have to ask him. But here's what I'm guessing. He probably doesn't want it yet because he just started the show, but I feel like in a while, he's gonna regret not picking that up. Oh, now, hold on a second here, guys. I saw this weird, like, Sonic box, and I took a look at it. It's actually the Pocket Pop and T, and I think today I'm gonna be going for it. They even have my size. So why not? Ooh, almost dropped it there. Let's go for it and take a look at that shirt. Pretty nice. Okay, so I ended up picking up the Sonic T-shirt. Now we are going over to, oh, is it right here? Oh, no, we have to go inside of a shopping center. Anyways, Nate is taking me over to a Pokemon card store that he found, and they might sell pops. I don't know. I'm gonna bring you guys along anyway. Especially because I am also a fan of Pokemon, and I'll probably pick up something. Okay, so we just came down those stairs, and now Nate is taking me into wherever this is. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh actually, hold on, guys. I think I see it through those windows over there. That's gotta be it. All right, everybody, so we made it inside, and it's actually called Banana Games, if you guys wanna check it out here in Toronto, and they have Pokemon cards all over the walls. Like, it's really crazy, guys, the amount of different packs they have. Look at all the sleeved ones over here. I don't remember the last time I saw a sleeved flash fire. Come on, that's crazy. Oh, and then it's funny, because we were looking on Pokemon Center to see if they had any plush that we were looking at, and I guess I could probably just pick them up here. Good thing I didn't make my order yet. Okay, so that was gonna be the entire pop hunt for today, but then on our way home, we remembered there's a Toys R Us, and we still haven't found the two pops that I was on the hunt for, so I figured why not let's go check. And I understand that we can't find Sun and Moon from Five Nights at Freddy's, but we could still possibly find the Barbie one, so let's see how we do. And now it looks like, guys, the first thing that I found in terms of Funko stuff is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle plush, and it looks like they actually have all four of them, and I don't think I'm gonna be getting them today because they are actually not too bad, $16.99, but I really don't know where I would put these in the collection, even though they are cute. Oh, and then funny enough, just on the other side here, we have some of the Stranger Things ones, and it looks like all they have is Robin. Oh, no, no, no. They also have Steve. They just look kind of similar. One just doesn't have a hat. Okay, and now getting into the normal pop section, they have a lot of them, as you can probably tell. They've got both sides here full. And the ones that I noticed, there was actually a few that I wanted to show you guys, like the Walt Disney with camera down here, as well as Rhinox. And then a little farther down, they had some of the brand new turtles, Indiana Jones. And then, here it is down here, guys, the Red Hawk Luffy, which does have a chase, but I'm guessing it's probably gone. Oh, but hold on, though. They have three up here, as well as three down here. So, Maybe, maybe, if I'm hoping it's not from two cases. It looks like it probably is. And then over on the opposite side, guys, there was one thing that I wanted to show you. The SDCC exclusive Barry Allen, which I think I'm probably gonna be getting today, just because it is a pretty unique one of him on the throne. Like, inside of a normal size box, you don't see very much. Usually, if it, oh, wait a second. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I didn't, oh wow. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be getting this. I did not see this there. The black box, it lights up. Oh, how did I miss that? What I was gonna show you guys a second ago was actually this one over here saying usually they come inside of bigger boxes, but it's a good thing I didn't miss this. It's the lights and sound Indiana Jones. Okay, everybody, I'm wearing a different outfit. It's the next day. And the reason it's the next day is because I didn't find either of the figures that I said that we were gonna be hunting for today. So we've come over to another hot topic that says they still have the sun and moon figure available. Also, I checked on the Barbie ones. They are completely sold out everywhere. I don't know why. People really like them. Well, I mean, I understand why the movie's doing so well, but I've never seen something sell out this quick. And so we will do another hunt for them in the future, maybe when they show up in more stores, but for now, let's just try to get that Five Nights at Freddy's one and see if they still have some. Okay, everybody, so we've made it to the section here, and I'm looking for some of the exclusives, and so far, I am not seeing Sun and Moon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did they sell out? Oh, wait a second, guys. I think I found him. And, actually, take a look at this. If this is where he was originally, there's only one of them left. We got lucky. And since they're here, I might as well get a couple more gurs. I still haven't got that chase yet. Well, everybody, we finally found it. It took a while, too. I mean, as you guys saw, of course, from the video. And now, before we get into anything that I picked up, a package arrived in the mail today. And I wanted to show it off, but I don't want to show off the whole thing yet. It's actually for something coming very, very soon. A brand new collaboration with both Top Pops and YouTubes. And so I think what I'm going to do is just show you guys this for today. Is that enough of a spoiler? I think so. And I gotta say, it looks amazing in person. I'm looking at it right now, and it's probably one of my favorite products that we've done with U2 so far. It just really looks amazing. There's also some stuff in there that I think is so cool that u is actually on the add to this product, and I don't want to tell you any more than that. Just stay tuned for like either later this week or early next week. And so now let's get into the hot topic stuff that I picked up first, because this was kind of the stuff that we went for. Actually, you know, it's definitely the stuff that we went for, and I'm surprised it took this long to find it. Because like, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, I looked around and around, and most Hot Topics were sold out. And also, while I was there, I did end up grabbing a Gur, actually not one Gur, two Gur sodas. We've got some other cans that I also picked up. We'll open those up in a bit. But let me talk about this one first, because it is the first ever Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach figure that we're getting for the collection. And for anybody curious about the backside here, there is no other pop. So I'm hoping that this is just like the first one they're doing, and they'll make an entire wave in a couple months, or even sooner than that. Because that is how they've done it in the past. They did it for Ted Lasso. They 
they also did it for Secret Invasion, and I'm hoping it's the same case here. Because of course they have made a bunch of the action figures, but I really do hope that there's more of these guys coming. I would love to have an entire collection. And so here it is, everybody. The sun and moon figure kind of like merged together. And if you take a look on the back side, it even has the wires on his head. So some really, really amazing detail. And I don't think this ever happens where he's like half and half, but he's two characters, so I don't know how they would have done it otherwise. Maybe a two-pack would have been neat, but I also really like this too. And like you guys saw earlier, they only had one of these left, so I'm hoping because it's selling so well, they want to make an entire set. And you know what? Now that I'm looking at it here, I think I only ended up picking up two things while we were in Toronto. Maybe three. Oh no, we also got a soda at that Hot Topic. And anyways, let's get into the first product that I picked up, which is the Wicket with Slingshot. Now this one's actually in a protector because we had to do a lot of walking around. I didn't want to wreck the box, so I brought a couple with me, and this thing stood pretty good. Like, I am not seeing anything wrong with this at all. I don't actually know which protectors I used for this, but either way, it's got some good reinforced edges. It was super helpful. And also, when it comes to new Star Wars pops, I can't complain about an updated version because this really does look nice. Him with the slingshot. He's also in a brand new pose we've never seen before. Then, everybody... Oh, right. So I guess we'll go with the stuff that I picked up over at Hot Topic. It would have been a, another Gur as well as a Jaime Reyes. I figured I would go for them because I don't have the chase for either. And I guess now we have three Gur sodas to crack open today. Then outside over at the GameStop across the street, the flagship one, I grabbed this here. The size extra large, which is pretty cool. I was able to get my size. They don't normally have that. Usually I see like a large or a medium. And I know that these shirts do shrink a little bit sometimes. So if you guys are ever going for them, I recommend going like slightly larger than you would normally do. And then when you wash it, it seems to be about the right size. And so I am pretty pumped about this. I know it only comes with the Pocket Pop and I believe it was, yeah, $35 for the Pocket Pop and tee, which I didn't think was too bad. And so let's crack this thing open and find out exactly what the t-shirt looks like. And so I guess we'll start with that. Let's see here. Ha 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 ha, ha ha, there it is. Is that the right size? This looks kind of small. Is this a, no, it says extra large. I don't know why that looks a little bit small. No, no, I don't think it is. For a second there, guys, I thought it was a kid's t-shirt because I saw KD on the logo, got kind of nervous, but no, I don't think so. It seems to be an adult size for anybody wondering. And then of course we've got the pocket pop, which is pretty cool. There's a little piece of like cardboard holding it in. Let me see if I can pop that thing out without ruining the box. There we go. Oh, it also doesn't have like a hanger on the top, which I guess makes sense. It's coming inside of here, but that is a little too bad for my display because I actually have it on like push pins and uh, this one will not stay on there. But either way, still a really cool one to have. I'm glad I got this. And then everybody, the last place that I would have picked something up was over at Toys R Us. We ended up getting two pops as well as another soda. This one was behind the counter and I don't have the Groot Chase yet. So I thought, why not? It could be kind of fun to crack open another one. They also had Grape Ape, but I believe I already have the chase for that one, so I decided to skip on it. By the way, it was the black light version, not the original one. And so five sodas for today. Then I also ended up grabbing the SDCC exclusive Barry Allen. I just thought this one was so cool with the amount of detail it's got. I also do want to pop it out of the box really quickly because I want to see what his throne is looking like because there really is a good amount of detail. Wow. Okay, this is neat. Oh, it's not a throne. This is not a throne at all. Oh, Oh shoot, I didn't even notice he's strapped in. If I'm gonna be honest, I haven't seen the movie yet. I feel like I'm not missing too, too much. People haven't, I, I don't know, I haven't heard great reviews. But I was planning on watching it eventually and I just assumed it was a throne, but then I noticed he was strapped in. There's lightning all over it. If you guys heard me earlier say throne, I apologize. Because as soon as you take a look on the back, guys, it looks like he's being electrocuted. Is this how he becomes the Flash? I don't know. Now, everybody, let's jump into this one here. And I don't know if I'm gonna need batteries for it. I'm hoping there's some that come in it because I don't know if I have any. But it is the light up Indiana Jones, one that I did not expect to find today. And I was really pumped. Well, actually, well, yesterday now, and I was still really pumped about it. And so let's see what we've got going on here, because I'm guessing the three kind of like amber rocks are gonna light up. It seems like it. Okay, so I'm noticing on the bottom here that there is a pull tab, so it should just light up. Now, I don't know how to do it. Do I press down on the head? Probably. Let me show you guys first and... Ooh, all three of them do light up. How fancy is that? And I love when Funko does figures like this. It really does add a nice detail to them, you know? And I think also just in general, it's a really, really well done pop. Let me see if I can see that there too. Yeah, they light up pretty bright. So definitely not too shabby. And I'm not exactly sure what they were selling this for over at Toys R Us. I would guess probably about 
50, that sounds right. Also, for anybody who doesn't want to waste the batteries on these things, just to let you guys know, you can put the pull tab back in. It's a nice way to do it. All right, now everybody, it is time who to get into the sodas. And because we have three Gers, I think we're gonna end on him. Let's actually start with Groot. If you guys are curious on the chase for him, he's actually holding the Guardians of the Galaxy sign in his hands. And he wouldn't actually let me feel it on. I believe they also had two of them available. So I'm a little nervous we're not gonna get it, but we still have a chance. And so I'm not gonna look at the bottom. Let's find out here though, if we ended up getting him. Ah, this looks like a normal Groot to me. I am not seeing the sign in his hands. And next up everybody, we are gonna be doing Jaime Reyes, where the chase he's actually holding something else, not like Groot, he's got the blue beetle in his hand. And so this one here isn't gonna be much bigger than the other one, but I did try to shake him around a bit to see if maybe it had like his hand out like this. I hope so, because I do already have one in the collection and this uh, does not have the blue, it's not there. Which is definitely too bad because I would like to have one of each in the collection, but I guess if I find him again, I'll pick up another one. Yeah, it's the common. Oh, actually, hold on guys, we've got a special guest. Dad, you wanna come in and open a soda? Sure. Yeah, okay, come on, come on, come on in. Now, I started this one, but if you want to, sorry, we don't have a chair today for you, but um, we also have two other Gers. I don't know which one you wanna open up. Who's Gur? Uh, from Invader Zim. So the chase is him without the hat on, or the, the, the hood on. He's got like a little metal head. How many of you, 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 you got of these ones? Uh, this will be our, let me see here. This is five once we've cracked open all of these. It's a Hot Topic exclusive and I want to get it before it sells out. I'll start opening up this way you do that one though. I'm hoping we get it today. This is from two different Hot Topics as well. So we might get two chases. Or? Or no chases. Come on, no so hat. What's, what's the difference? So uh, no let me show hat. them first before you take your hand out, hold on. So this one here, he's wearing like a little hood. That is the common one. And then the chase is in with a metal head. No ears. No. Oh, okay. Well, I'll do mine then. And then you can crack open that one if you want. Uh, if you guys want to check it out though, there it is. It's a really cool one. I like him. He stands well too. I didn't think he was going to. Um, I think it's a neat figure. It's just, I don't need five of this guy, no. you know? But I do want to get this before they start selling out at Hot Topic. So uh, let's see here on this one. Um, uh, I'm seeing another normal... Normal Gur on this. Do you want to do that one? Sure. Sure. Might as well. Which is, uh, don't get me wrong, it's a cool one. But yeah, like I said, I, don't, I, don't, I definitely don't need five of this guy. You know, kind of at the moment, it reminds me of in, uh, was it Peanuts? Or which is the show where you couldn't see the parent's head? And they would talk and... No. No? It's not that you wouldn't see their head. You well, they would go, womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. I thought there was a show, though, where you couldn't see the parent's head. Or maybe I'm thinking of the, the big guy from Powerpuff Girls or something like that where like you could only see like here down, you couldn't see anything else. I don't know Powerpuff Girls. You, you were struggling with it a bit. I thought Holy I'd give him something to think about there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's see how you do Okay. I got a good feeling about this one. Okay. Yep. All right. So like I said, guys, two different hot topics. So maybe we'll have better luck. I don't know which one was from which, but uh, let's see here. Please? No. Nope. No. I, uh... So we have five of those now? Yeah, we have five. I'm trying over here, guys. I bought them from different stores. I figured we could try. I probably should have bought all of the ones that I saw today, but they limited to two per person. I can't do much about it. And well, anyways, everybody, even though we didn't get too much that we needed today in terms of sodas, it's still fun to open up more of them and see what we could possibly get for chases. Look, I'm just trying to justify me not getting any chases today, but it was still fun. And anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's hunt because it really was a lot of work to get any of the things I was looking for. And I am glad that I did end up getting one of the figures I wanted. And we will find those Barbie ones in the future. Fingers crossed. But anyways, that's pretty much everything for today, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.